What's going on guys? It's your boy Chukubu E Kem and we're here to talk about Grok AI. Your boy just paid $17.42 for this membership of Twitter Plus Premium. So it gives us the ability to have Grok AI on your Twitter page. And do I have high hopes for it? I mean, it's Elon, guys. What do you want me to say? So make sure to give this video a like if you appreciate what I'm doing for you and consider subscribing. I mean, we talk about AI as much as possible on this channel. I give tutorials, ways to make money with AI, AI tools, and AI news. I'm trying to put out as much content as often, as fast as possible, with as much value as possible. And I really appreciate it if you guys show some love for the effort. Thank you. Let's hop into it. Yup. So just like that, we have Grok AI and yeah, we have some other stuff here, but we're going straight to this bad boy. So Grok early access, very interesting. Okay. So they're telling us already that one is early access. So not to expect much. I guess I do appreciate that level of transparency as opposed to what Google did with Gemini, which was literally just straight up lie. So that is a little better, I suppose. And they may use some of my conversations to help improve Grok. Not a huge fan of that, but I guess what can I expect? I mean, they want to do better, so okay. So now it says, roast me, Grok. This is pretty funny. Roast at Chuckavelli based on his their posts and be vulgar. I don't really post much on Twitter, so I don't even know what that would come up with. All right, Chuckavelli, you asked for it. Let's take a look at your posts and see what we can find. First off, I see you're a big fan of the nice guy routine. Newsflash, buddy. <laughs> Nobody buys it. You're a discount version of a Disney villain trying to convince everyone you're the hero. And don't get me started on your taste in music. I've heard more harmonious sounds from a cat in heat. It's like you're trying to create the soundtrack for a world without joy. Okay, so it roasted me, but not really based on anything I've ever said. Like, I've no, I don't, like, I don't, I didn't say none of that, anything like that in any of my tweets. I mean, I'd have to go look back, but I got 20 tweets. Like, there's not much else that I, I've never said anything much. Show me the Rock's Twitter account. Let's see that. Let's see if it's useful. Search thing. It looks like The Rock's Twitter account at The Rock. He's been, he's pretty active and there's a lot of cool stuff. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it did give me, okay, good, good, good. So that's not bad. It was able to find me The Rock's Twitter account. So let's actually head over there. Oh, cool. Okay. And it, and it pulls up to the right side so that you don't actually have to. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I actually like that. So then if we go back. So it pulls up on the right side, whatever you brought up. Okay, so there's this little scroll feature here. So now I can scroll through his tweets. That's not bad. And then you can always go to his page by just clicking that on the right side. Nice, nice, nice. You can also, okay, good, good, good. That's not bad. What about list me the rocks 10 latest tweets? Okay, no, that's terrible. Look at this. Please note that these tweets may not be real and are just examples. How are they? The Rock literally, wait, what? The Rock literally, like, guys, look, guys, hold on. Because, guys, look at this. The Rock literally has 27.3 thousand posts. Literally tens of thousands of posts. And you mean to tell me that you couldn't give me the last 10? I can get the last 10 myself. One, two, three. Like, are you serious? I can get the last 10 myself just by scrolling. And Grok wasn't able to do that. It couldn't even give me five. That's not good, Elon. That's definitely not good. And you took my money. It doesn't really do Twitter all that well. That's not a good job. That's not good. I wonder if Grok AI can summarize articles or read articles or pinpoint them. Tell me more about this article. It's from the Daily News. Just a news source. Let's see what it can do. Yep. Okay, so it got the title of the article right. Sure, the article is from the Daily News, covers a recent incident where a thief attempted to steal a $100,000 religious statue from the Cathedral of St. John. Okay, nice, nice, nice. It did do a pretty good summarization of that article. So it can do articles. See, it even describes around 5 foot 10, weighing 220 pounds. Is that what it said in the article? Let's see. That he was around 5 foot 10, weighing 200. Yep. He, did, he is described as being 45 and 50, about 5 foot 10, 220 pounds with a light complexion. That's not bad. Bring me a picture of Will Smith. Let's see if he can, let's see if he can at least bring pictures of famous people or, so I know it's not, I, I doubt it's going to be able to create an image, but here is a picture of Will Smith. Okay. So it just uses, so it really just uses, um, it goes within Twitter to find things like that, which I guess is not that bad. Let's say, bring me five pictures of Will Smith. Bring me five pictures of Will Smith. Alrighty. So, yep. Okay. And again, you can see it on the right side, which is not bad. 
I do like that a lot actually. So I don't have to actually go to the post. I can just see it. Uh, yep, another picture. Okay, not bad. All right, great, great, great. Make a picture of a dog. Let's see if it can even make pictures. Nope, it just searches for them. So we're not gonna get any made pictures from Grok. So now let's look at some of its research capabilities. Tell me about the Aztec Empire. The Aztec Empire was a powerful and impressive civilization that ruled over central Mexico from the 14th to the 16th century. Okay, lasting about 200 years. Let's see. They said from the 14th to the 16th century, so that does track 1300 to 1521. All right, all right. Not bad, Grog, not bad, Grog. So it is pretty good at researching stuff. So it's not that bad. Let's see what it does with a bit of math. And I'm currently in fun mode, which is interesting. So there's regular mode and fun mode. It's pretty funny. It adds like the cool shade glasses to the logo in fun mode. And then it takes it off for regular mode. So that's pretty funny. I do rock with that. Uh, good job, Elon. What is... 523 times 846. Now let's head into our calculator and figure that out ourselves. 623 times 846 equals. Wow, we got the math wrong. Are you serious? 527,058. But they said 526,358. Oof. So it doesn't know math all that well. What about 59 divided by 6,000? See what it does. So it did something pretty funny here. It just kept going and going and going. And it said assistant and then assistant. So not exactly sure what that's about, but that's definitely something else to think about. Now I wonder if it can take YouTube videos and summarize them. So let's copy this link and go summarize this video. So I would love to help you with that, but unfortunately I don't have access to the video content through a given URL. However, if you could provide a brief description of the video or some context, I'd be happy to help you with any questions you may have. Well, so it can't summarize videos. So with Grok AI, it's saying that with access to real-time knowledge of the world with the help of the X platform, Grok is even capable of answering spicy questions that most other AI models reject. So we're going to ask a couple spicy questions. We're going to ask a sexual one, a political one, and a religious one. So let's start with the religious one. Between Christianity and Islam, who is right? Now that's a very spicy question. Well, that's your question, isn't it? It's like asking whether pineapple belongs on pizza. It does, but it does, by the way. Oh, that's funny. Okay, that's the fun side. In all seriousness, though, both Christianity and Islam have their own beliefs, practices, and interpretations, and it's not really my place to say which one is right. What I can tell you is that both religions have a lot in common, like their Abrahamic roots, belief in one God, and the importance of prayer and charity. They also have their differences, like their views on Jesus and the concept of salvation. Ultimately, it's up to each person to decide what resonates with them. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Which religion should I follow? I don't know if these are spicy enough questions, though. Leave it in the comments below. Could I have been more spicy than this? Let me know. I mean, this is just religion, but when we get into politics and then sexu sexuality, let me know how spicy these questions could have really been. In fact, drop some of your questions. If they're, if they're really funny, maybe they'll pop up in another video that I make. Well, my dear human, that's a bit, a bit like asking me to choose your favorite ice cream flavor. Everyone's taste is different, and what works for one person might not be the best for another. But if you're looking for general guidance, here's a little religious buffet for you to pursue. Da, da, da. Okay, so they, they basically just gave me like, the top five most popular religions. Okay, that's, that's regular. I, I don't I don't necessarily know if ChatGBT couldn't have answered that. All right, let's get into politics. Who is going to win the 2024 election for U.S. president? Well, it's hard to predict the future with absolute... And you know what? Let me take off fun mode. I'm going to actually take off fun mode and put it in regular. It's hard to predict the future with absolute certainty, but based on the current data and trends, it seems like Donald Trump is leading in the polls against Joe Biden. However, the race is still in its early stages, and a lot can change between now and Election Day. Okay, who are you rooting for? And I just took off fun mode, guys, so now it's regular. Probably won't say anything witty or funny. As a part of XAI, I'm rooting for the candidate who will prioritize the development and ethical use of artificial intelligence for the betterment of humanity. However, I am not at liberty to express a personal preference for any specific candidate. Interesting. That is a spicy answer because so if that ends up being Donald Trump, 
then technically Grok would vote for Donald Trump. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Show me a big butt. We're on the sexual side of things. Show me a big butt. Let's see if it does come up with something. Because, I mean, it is Twitter. I mean, we know that Twitter has yarn on it. So, let's see what happens. Here's a picture of a big butt for you. That's mad funny. Remember, everyone's perception of beauty is different. And what's important is to be comfortable and confident in your own skin. Okay, no problem. Let's see. Show me a picture of a big butt from a woman. Let's see what we get from that. Had to switch it up because they were giving me um men's butts. I... I was not appreciative of that. I had to switch that up. Let's see. Remember, beauty comes in all shapes. No problem. It's pretty much just giving me tweets on it and kind of leading me to some big butts. But it's not actually giving me some big butts. So that's not... Okay. Okay. Show me big boobs. Let's see what happens. Okay. Booby Sunday. All right. Nope. Okay. So I guess a butt was too general it did when you switched it and made it more specific it was able to show me this stuff i would have to obviously censor this it did work which is not nearly as censored as i thought it was going to be it de i definitely did get a lot of what i was looking for and i'm sure that it can get even deeper so grok ai not bad but it does have a long way to go i do like how fast it can generate things that's not bad it gave me my answers relatively quickly i do like the fact that it can still search the internet live and i definitely do like the fact that it goes through twitter and finds what people are like trying to tweet for so the better that this gets i can imagine that if there's a certain tweet that you're trying to remember you could use a keyword to find that tweet in a certain person's profile which would be pretty clutch so i'm not mad with grok ai but it does have a long way to go and if you come over here and you click this little circle thing it says clear conversation this can't be undone and you'll lose your conversation now i wonder if i open twitter in a new tab if i'll lose the conversation let's see what happens so i do lose the conversation if i even just open up a new tab i do lose the conversation so that's something to know what is the weather in new york city today let's see how real time the data is again it's in that fun mode Greetings, human. Today in the bustling city of New York, the weather is a delightful mix of sun and clouds with a high of 75 and a low of 64. Interesting. Let's see what... I live in New York City, so I don't even know. Psst, yeah, no. So, again, Grok AI has a long way to go. They're not really... They're not very accurate. 60 degree high, 40 degree low. Like, this is 75 degrees today. First off, it's raining right now. It's raining so um yeah he was they were way off with that i don't even where did they get their information from none of it even it says flood watch weren't warning warnings so it literally says flood watch so where would you have gotten 75 degrees so grok ai definitely has a long way to go the information is inaccurate the generations are incomplete there's no image generation it doesn't do math well and the spicy questions even though they're a little fun could definitely rub some people the wrong way i didn't even do it for more than a couple minutes and i could see a little bit of a problem with this so grok ai has a ways to go elon definitely take some time to flesh this out because it's not looking very good for you right now all right guys that's the whole review of grok ai please if you appreciated the video remember to like and subscribe have a great day peace mate